Hello and happy, happy Tuesday. I'm so excited that you're joining me today in my studio. I'm a few moments late. I got sidetracked. Shiny objects, that happens, right? My name is Wendy Lee, and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the U.S., and you can find me over on creativelyyours.com. Yes? All right. So today, I've got some fun paper crafting uh, to do with you, and I'm really excited about this one. So uh, we're going to be playing with the Trucking Along Bundle. Now, if you're not sure what that is, I will show you, but that has been a super, super popular uh, product. It's not in any of our catalogs. This is one of what we call online exclusives, which means you see it in the online store only. And I'll tell you, this bad boy has been crazy popular. As soon as it's in stock, it disappears. Um, but it's coming back in soon. So you definitely want to get your hands on this one. Um, I do have a, a start of a few sneak peeks kind of behind me um, for our next Cultivated Creativity. Uh, that's our DIY paper crafting kit. It's fantastic. It's just fantastic. And this month we'll be featuring, uh, well, for October, we'll be featuring the Merry and Bright Bundle and all its fabulousness. I love it. It's got so many great colors. It's non-traditional, which I think is fine. It makes it a little fun, changes things up a little bit. Now, if you want some traditional cards, you can still do that. But these, these are going to be ones that your friends and family are going to remember because they're different, right? So I hope that you'll uh, join us for that if you've not already signed up for the program. Let me go ahead and switch the video over and let's get started with today's project. All right. Let's see. There we go. Yay. It's over in the right place. Looks like my lighting's a little off today. I'm not really sure what's up. I, I don't know if it's my eyes or if it's my lighting. So if you guys are like, oh yeah, your lighting's terrible. Let me know um, in the comments so I can see if um, you're seeing the same thing I'm seeing. But as I mentioned, we are featuring the fantabulous trucking along bundle. This one is super cute. And I love that you can fill the truck with all these little fun elements. So this really is an all year long stamp set. And then of course, who doesn't love a coordinating punch? So you can use the punch with the stamps or on its own. Um, and it's so, so much fun to use. Um, I actually released a card class, a five card class, and I will give you guys sneak peeks at the end so you can see it. Now, as I mentioned, this bundle, you can order the stamp set currently, but the punch is not gonna be back in stock until around October 9th. So if you sign up for the class and you do um, have the option to add the bundle if you'd like to, if you do that before the bundle comes back in stock, I'm going to be watching that like a hawk. And as soon as that comes in, I will be ordering everybody's bundles right away. So don't miss out on those. The sooner you register, the better. All right. So let's start with today's project. What are we making? Oh my gosh. These are so much fun. We are going to make jumbo tags. Aren't these great? So I've got three variations. So um, this is so fun. It's got lots of great details. You got your to and from on the back. Now, the first one I did, I messed up. Look, I put the staple through all the layers, but we fixed that going forward, right? So here's another one. And I have chosen to use that Mary Bold and Bright paper with this project today. And it's, I think it's fun because it's got, you know, Christmassy, right? You got your Christmas trees, but look at this polka dot and stripes. Wouldn't this be a great birthday tag? right? I think it's fantastic. And of course, we've got our to and from. So I changed the colors up a little bit on this one, put some blue instead of the shaded spruce. And you can see I've got some embossing in the background as well. So let's, let's go ahead and get started on this. I, my favorite part is all this fabulous ribbon on the end. Isn't that super cool? Okay, so we're going to get to starting that. So you have to let me know if you guys like this one as we're going along. So let's start off with my granny apple green there on the front. So I wanted to show you guys a paper saving trick. Anytime you're gonna layer these layers, so I've I've literally got my card base, a layer and another layer cover covering it. And then I've got even additional layers covering the center. So why not save a little bit of paper and instead of cutting this out of another piece of cardstock, why not cut it out of that front layer so that we save a little bit of paper, right? A little bit goes a long way. So this is the all that dies and I'm using this lovely oval here. So that's what I've cut there and I'm gonna set that aside because we're gonna need that in just a smidge. All right, and then my lemon lime twist layer that's gonna go on the front, 
I have added embossing to that with the cheery patterns embossing folders. So there's actually two folders that come in this two pack duo pack, whatever you want to call it. Let me get this. So you've got this lovely kind of a wavy dash line, and then you've got this lovely polka dot. So I've used both, right? So this one, we're going to use this wavy dash line like I used on this one here. But on these other two, I used that dot pattern. Aren't those fun? I just, they make you happy, right? That's why they're called cheerful, cheerful folders. So these are new items that are in our uh, holiday mini catalog. Hey, Polly, so glad you're here. Is this your first time joining? I don't remember seeing you join me before, but I'm super glad that you're here. All right, let's go ahead and layer these two pieces together. I'm going to use my stamp and seal. That is my adhesive of choice. Of course, if that's not your adhesive of choice, you can use whatever makes your heart happy, right? And I love this subtle tone on tones of greens going on here between that lemon lime twist and that um, granny apple green. So let's layer this on shaded spruce. So keeping that green going here. And we'll just add that with our stamp and seal. So these are actually fast and easy. I will make sure after the video that I go in and get you your complete supply list, cut dimensions, you'll have everything um, you need to recreate these, right? If you need to purchase anything, you'll have links to just go right into my online store and add them to your shopping cart. Now, it'll take me a few minutes. I'm not as prepared today as I would like to have been. Uh, so it'll probably take me maybe 30 minutes to get everything all updated with the description because I don't have it all ready to just copy paste in. So my bad on that one, but it happens sometimes, right? Okay, so next, here's what I want to do. I want to add some ribbons. So I've chosen four different ribbons. So this is the gold trim. This comes in a two-pack gold and silver. This is one of our online exclusives as well. So you won't see that in the catalog, but it is a fabulous, very sparkly ribbon. And then I'm going to use this Parakeet Party metallic ribbon. And while I'm not using Parakeet Party, look, it coordinates really nicely and brings in that great sparkly. And then our iridescent ribbon. This is in the holiday catalog. And then this is our real red ribbon. Now, this comes in a combination pack um, with some uh, crumb cake ribbon. So this is a carryover ribbon that's in our annual catalog. So what I want to do is I'm going to fold these in half. And bear with me here. I'm going to grab a stapler. And sometimes this works really good for me, and sometimes I struggle. So yeah, Polly, I'm so glad that you were able to catch me live as well. I'm happy to have you here. Let's see if I can stay in camera. That's always my challenge. I have other things on my that I want to see, so I need it to be close to me, but then I don't always make it so that you guys can see as well. All right. So I folded all these and I'm trying to layer them on top of each other, right? And then I want to catch this in a staple right at the end. But what I learned as I made these tags is that I want to staple it down inside this layer here so that once I put my layers on the back, right? We haven't done that yet. Once I put my layers on the back, it's going to cover that nasty staple. Now, if that doesn't bother you, don't worry about it. But if it does bother you, just make sure you get that staple down low enough that it tacks that down inside this layer. I hope that makes sense. And if you wanna put a second one in to hold it, you definitely can do that. Um, it wouldn't hurt to secure it again. So let's, let's just go ahead and do that. We'll put a second one. I'm gonna offset it just a smidge, if that helps hold those in place. All right, and I kinda can turn them a little bit. There we go. Now that's more of what I wanted it to be. That's my favorite part, this collage of ribbon right on the end there, right? All right, so next layer, let's go ahead and uh, do the back, right? Let's just jump all in and do the back. So I've got a piece, another piece of granny apple green and a piece of basic white. Let's find, if I can find where I've hidden, there it is, my foam pad. Let's pull in our foam pad. We're gonna need this for our stamping. And I'm gonna grab my shaded spruce ink pad. And then I want to put a to and from on the back. So there isn't a to and from in this stamp set. So I'm pulling in my favorite Celebrate with Tags. This was one of my favorite stamp sets from last holiday catalog. And yay, it carried over. So I'm going to steal this lovely, nice, bold, and big to and from. And we're going to stamp that right on the back of our tag. It's jumbo, right? We like these big sentiments. 
Love it. Loving it. Loving it. I'm already loving it. <laughs> but I could see making these tags for so many different occasions. I would just, I don't know. I could just see doing them all afternoon, right? All right. So let's go ahead and layer this on our granny, our other granny apple green layer. And I'm going to put this on the back and we're going to hide our staple mess that we made, right? There we go. I'm getting it. And you know what? I think I'm going to put, I flip this around, just getting my orientation. I want to put extra adhesive on the end with the staple to cover that up, okay? So get my two from, and I'm covering up that staple mess so it's nice and pretty, right? Cute. Loving that. All right, next, I'm going to pull in a strip of the designer series paper. And let's go ahead and banner cut the ends. You could leave it straight, but I think it's kind of fun to do that. So I'm just going to clip in, and I'm guessing, about a half inch. If you need to mark this with a pencil because it makes you feel better, you do that, right? So then I'm going to clip from the corners right up until my little center clip mark I made. And then we'll repeat that on the other side. So super easy to create your own banner if you don't have a punch that would work. This is a one and three quarter wide strip of designer paper. So it would be a little too wide for any of the punches I personally have. So this works great as an alternate version. All right, so let's go ahead and put our light string paper down. I love that print too. It's one of my favorites. I just, this paper makes me so very happy. So very happy. Gotta tell you. All right, we're just centering more or less. We're gonna tack that down. Okay, next, let's slide this over. We've got a piece of basic weight cardstock. And I already die cut this die here. So this is the nested essentials. We're using the second largest here and we're going to die cut it right out of that layer, okay? And then I want to go ahead and stamp my trucks and punch those out as my next step. So let's get a scrap piece of paper to put under that because I will definitely get under the edge here. So I found for me personally, I do best if I do the full truck first because we're gonna do a truck and we're gonna make a little trailer, right? So I'm gonna use my Memento black ink and I'm gonna do the truck outline first, okay? So we want a full truck Let's move some of these so I can get up a little higher in the camera for you guys. Better? Yes. Okay. So we've got our full truck and then I'm going to need a partial truck. So I'm going to put this over to the left of it. I found that this worked best for me. Oh, I still need that memento. We'll wait. All right. Now let's do the tires. Now I got to tell you, friends, this has not been the easiest stamp for me to line up. So we'll see how funny it looks today because... You know, when I'm on camera, I can't see where I'm stamping very well. But the trick I'm finding to this is there's this little line in the stamp. I don't know if you guys can see that. But that line, if you align it to the bottom of here straight, you should, 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 should. I say should because it might not always work. And what I'm finding is that I can't see it until I'm like almost down on the stamp. So let's see what I did. I'm off. Totally off. Let's try it again. See if we can fill it in. I may not get it. Eh, stamped in the same place. Okay, these tires are gonna be off a little bit, but this is the stamp that I find the most difficult to use. Oh, I totally messed that one up too. Well, we're gonna see what it looks like. I did so much better on my other ones, right? But I think it's because I could see and I can't see at all with this right here. So it is what it is, right? Okay, let's do our truck fill. So my truck fill, I'm gonna use real red, going with a classic red truck. Okay. And we'll see how I do on this. Could be bad. Just like I said, I cannot see <laughs> from where I'm stamping right now. It's not too bad. I think my truck's gonna survive. And one thing you can do, and I did not grab it, but maybe I should, is grab my black, um, maybe, maybe I'll do it. Grab my, my black uh, marker, or you could use a blend, right? And so if you're 
struggling, really struggling, trying to get that tire to land in the right place, just grab your blends or a marker, right? And you can, you can just color it in. You don't have to use the fill stamp. So this is just going to look like his tires are a little bit fatter in the back. That's what we're doing. Filling it in. Too funny. I might have to throw those out. <laughs> Try again. Another day. But we're going with it. We're going all in with these lovely trucks. <laughs> with my funky tires. All right. So my punch, you guys know this, but I'm going to go through it just in case we've got somebody new. You're going to unlock it. And it's going to expand. This is the side you squeeze. This is the side you put the paper in. And I like to use these upside down because then I can see where my stamped image is, right? And so once you get it where you want it, hold, give it a, a little bit of a squeeze. You don't have to squeeze it all the way. Enough to hold it and then you can squeeze it. Now, the great thing about these style punches, if you didn't already know, is that you can actually physically lay it down on the table and push it if it's too hard on your hands, right? That's one thing I love about it because some days my arthritis is not my friends, right? I don't know if anybody else has that trouble but me. There we go. Things are popping. Perfect. All righty. So now, so this guy doesn't look all that great, right? So we're just going to trim away. A little bit and I actually got really close to that line which is what I would have done trimmed off anyway so that worked out kind of nice I think all right perfect now we want to stamp on this label now I'm going to pop up my truck but I want to put my presence in the bed of the truck in the trailer and I need to know where to place them so for me I found it was easiest for me to take a pencil and just put a little pencil line where I needed it. Now, on some projects, I have literally um, stamped the truck on the layer and then put the things in the bed of the truck and then later pop this over the top. But because I've got the trailer in the back and I kind of need to know where I'm stamping there as well, I found that a little more difficult. So you can see I've just got two light pencil lines right there. And then I'm going to grab my present detail stamp and we'll use our memento black ink. And I am going to stamp again. I cannot see because I'm on camera, right? Let's go all in. We'll see where it's at. Oh, I did really well on that one. Now this one, I'm kind of looking at where my pencil line is, but I also am looking at the top of the present because I don't want it to be above this edge here. So it's it's quite a bit down lower. So when I put my my um, little trailer back on, it's not gonna show as much of the presence as the other one is, which I, I don't have any issues with. I think that's that's perfectly acceptable. All right, so now there is a fill image to the presence as well. You can choose to use that or you can choose not to and just color with blends or markers or whatever makes your heart happy, right? See how well I line that one up. Oh, I did good there. Now I'm going to clean the stamp off camera. I personally use my scrub and mist when I'm using uh, stamps on a block. I prefer my chamois when I'm working with a uh, stamp positioning tool. But you do what's best for you, of course. Now we're going to move into shaded spruce, and I'm going to stamp the other set of presents, the fill image with shaded spruce. And not too bad, not great, but not too bad. Okay, now I wanted to add a little more color to this because, well, I just did. So you go pull out your blends, but I decided to pull out my bright markers and I am just gonna color in. So this is the lemon lime twist that we used in our layers. I'm just gonna fill in that big present. And you know, I can go further down, it doesn't matter because that's gonna be covered with my truck. And I'm going to take my granny apple green and add some granny apple green over on this other one, right? Put as much or as little coloring as you want. And then I decided to pull in this azure afternoon and I'm just going to put some polka dots on this other present. I love the new ends on our new uh, redesigned Stampin' Right markers. It, the ink is so much inkier. I, I don't know a better way to say that, right? Like 
on the old ones, a lot of times the fine point end I never would use because I can never get it to work great. But these I absolutely love. Hey, Carmen, so glad you're here joining us today. All right, so now that we've got our tag looking all pretty, let's add our truck and trailer on top. We're gonna pop that up with some dimensionals. I could have stamped that all flat, but I like the extra height and we're doing a tag, right? So we can do whatever we want to as far as that goes, in my opinion. Putting something like this on a package, uh, giftable, I think it's fun. Okay, so I'm gonna put this up a little higher than what I originally placed it because I wanna cover my pencil line. Could you erase the pencil line? Why, yes, you could. I'm kind of lazy, I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna cover it up because I don't think it's gonna really make a hill of beans a difference, right? So my whole goal is to really just kind of line those up. Isn't that cute? I think my trailer's a little kicking out, but I think I'm uphill just a smidge. Let's see if I can fix that. I don't know if I can, but we'll see. I may end up creating the exact same thing. Maybe a little bit better. All right, I'm going with this. We're all in. And I want to go ahead and adhere this to the front of my tag. So I am going to do that with some dimensionals, give it a little more height because I can get away with it. And that's my favorite. All right, just pulling this in. So our cute, cute tag, just sliding that on there. And then now we're ready to put our sentiment on. So let me stamp that. I'm gonna use a shaded spruce on this as well. You could choose one of the other colors. You could use black. Um, and I'm since this is on granny apple green, I wanna make sure I'm doing a dark color that you can see, or you could emboss with white, which would be nice as well. But I think I just wanted to keep this super fast and easy and simple. Now, because I've got a lot of heights going on between the uh, this being popped up and this being popped up, I decided on the bottom of this, I was gonna take some of my foam adhesive strips. Now these come in a really long, um, narrow pack, but I like to clip mine. So I've already clipped these. So I got some, some scraps in my stash here and I'm just gonna put two of them pull that backing paper off and then I am going to place this right on here. Now I purposely pull that um, adhesive towards the bottom. That way I know it wasn't overlapping any of these others. And that works out really, really nicely. All right, let's finish this off with some sparkle gems. These are the adhesive back glitter gems. Now I don't know if you've seen these yet. These are new out of our holiday catalog. And I gotta tell you, they're interesting, right? They're so flat. They're the flattest embellishment I've ever seen. I, I don't know, I don't know what it, I don't know how they made these, but they are so, so flat, which is great for popping things in the mail. Not, you don't necessarily need a flat for this particular project, but it's nice. It doesn't hurt a thing. So I'm just gonna pop three of those on there. Oh, I forgot my bow. Let's add a bow, why not? All right, let's finish this off with a little bow to make this look prettier. So I've got about 10 inches of ribbon. We'll do our little bunny ears, crisscross. One goes down into the hole and back out. So we've got our ribbon here. Now, if you are not happy, you can hold the knot and pull the legs and then re-pull your loops. You hold the knot so that it uh, doesn't get too loose as you're messing with your bow. Now, I know a lot of people like using a bow maker. I don't, I just, I think this works fabulously and it's my, my choice, my personal choice to use just my hands. All right, we're gonna pick that up with a glue dot. And you know what? I think I'm gonna put two of them on there. Can't hurt to have extra, extra sticky on this one. And then I'm putting this right at the top of that V of my banner. And it's going to give me a nice finished look onto my, lovely strands of ribbon. What do you guys think? Do you like this one? I think it's so pretty. So this one, obviously I would say it's Christmas because of the Christmas lights, right? Same thing, this one I would say Christmas because of the trees. But these two could be Christmas, could be birthday, could be any fun celebration because, you know, it's just got that fun striped paper. And same thing here with that polka dot paper. So super bright and fun and festive. 
And I think these are my new favorite to create jumbo tags. Hey, Ashley, so glad you're here. Oh, good, you like it, Polly. Yay, I'm glad. I'm glad. If you guys enjoy the content, give me a thumbs up. That way I know I'm doing okay. And share these, um, share, share with your crafty friends. Invite them to come over on Tuesdays. Take a little afternoon break with us and do a little paper crafting. Do you guys want to see a sneak peek of the uh, Trekking Along card class that I just released? Yes? I'm going to show you. All right. This one here. Cute. We're going to mask and we're going to do a little bit of fun there. I'm not going to show you the insides. And then there's this one. So I tried to do projects that were a little snow globe. Now, this one's a gift card holder. I'm not going to show you the inside, but it is a gift card holder. And then this one. But I tried to make all the projects really versatile. So, you know, to use the different seasons. So this is a little more um, fallish. Could be summer. You know, this could be all, all occasions. And then obviously I've got a little more Christmassy on that one. But this one could be Christmas, birthday, any kind of a celebration, I think. So fun stuff. But registration is going on for that class right now. Um, I didn't announce it yet. But if anybody signs up for that class and pays for their registration for their kit, you got to do the kit option, not the PDF option. But if you do the kit option, I will include in your packet cut supplies to make a jumbo tag as well. Okay, as my little gift for doing it this week. Yes, early registration. <laughs> all right, perfect. Thank you all so much for joining me today. And uh, I hope to see you all again next Tuesday for some more crafty fun. All right, thank you. And 